Fellow Nigerians, just watch this video and you'll be amazed with the kind of skill and knowledge and talent that we have in Nigeria. This man just put together power generation system, power distribution system, and then sales and marketing and consumption together on the table. Just look at the layout, look at the model. Just look at everything the way they are spelled out on the table from unit to unit, section to section. You will know that we do not need to import talent or import any form of technology to solve power problem in Nigeria. And the funniest of all is that this man did not go to any school. He just looked at what is happening in Nigeria and just put it together on the table to solve human problem. People are charging phone with what he has done in that small circle. And yet we say we cannot solve power problem in Nigeria. And people keep telling us cock and bull stories about power solutions. And the worst of all is that the external world understood clearly that we have this kind of creative and innovative and inventive talents and knowledge in Nigeria and some rest other countries in Africa and they have a system in place to take them out which is the skill worker visa program and the exceptional talent program to take people out of Nigeria and the rest of Africa to develop their countries just like UK United States and Canada now look at what this man has been able to put together without going to any institution. And this brings me to the fact that in all of our polytechnics and universities of technologies in Nigeria, there are projects like this that have been done by students that are lying fallow in all of the uh, engineering and technological departments, ranging from power to, to pharmacology to construction, just name it electrical electronics, just name it, mechanical, 
Just name it. Machines are lying down at design stage in all of these institutional workshops. And the government does not deem it fit to go back and explore, exploit, develop, and tap into these virgin skills and talents and knowledge. Virgin projects that have been put together, documented, just to go study them and then develop them to a larger scale to solve basic human problems in Nigeria. Nobody is paying attention to that. The Ministry of Science and Technology in Nigeria is also not looking at that. I wonder what is allotted to the, to, 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 to the budget, in, in, in annual budget in Nigeria, to science and technology and develop, development. And nobody is also looking at all of, this, all of these areas that people have put themselves together, use their personal resources to do research and to put them down both at model stage and, and, and pilot stage, documented, that are ready to be developed to a larger scale to solve our problems. And nobody's looking at that. It's appalling. It's unfortunate. It's disheartening. This man, just at that small scale, did that, put together power generation, distribution, sales and marketing and consumption together, charging people's phone just on the table. And it's working. Just, watch, just look at the layout, like I said earlier. Just look at the layout. And you know that we don't need a soothsayer. We don't need a prophet. We don't need multiple professors to know what we have to do to solve our problem in Nigeria with respect to power. And this is just about power. What about other aspects of technology in Nigeria? Automobiles. Electrical electronics. Even some of the things we are manufacturing and, and bringing from, I mean, uh, some of the things we are importing from China today are things that, that Nigerians went there to establish the factory, produce those things, and then bring them to Nigeria as imports, and we buy. These are things that can be established in Nigeria. And fundamentally, power, without power, you can't do anything. Without power, you can't manufacture you can't produce, you can't do anything, both at personal level, at small scale level, and at industrial large scale level. So when are we going to solve power problem in Nigeria once and for all? And one thing that comes to mind is that Nigerians actually don't need all of these robust infrastructures like everything must be in place. First. Just give Nigerians that power, electrical power. And it will amaze you what Nigerians will do from that. They are not even looking for bank loans. All they are looking for is power, electricity. One of the major killers of small-scale business in Nigeria today is nothing but electricity. If you go to places like Computer Village in Lagos, if you go to some of the markets in Nigeria, if you go to some of the shop, shop, shopping malls in Nigeria, every individual shop has a generator with attendant air pollution and noise pollution. Power, absence of power in Nigeria has robbed us a lot of things. What about residential areas? In other advanced countries, people are now working from home. They don't need to go to any shop, own a mall, or do anything. Working from home, all they needed is power, which their countries have made available for them. If you go to a residential area today, every flat, every building has a generator. And by the time in, in a building of about four to six flats, all the tenants turn up all their generators at the same time. You can imagine the amount and level of noise pollution and air pollution. I know what generator means. You cannot have a good sleep at night until the generator is off. Because when you're lying down on your bed, Part of your attention is on the performance of the generator. Can you imagine the level of inconvenience? Power. For the one that does not have money to buy a generator and does not have money to put a water in his house, will be sleeping inside the house, sweating. Sweating till the midnight, almost to the early hours of the morning. And the same person is going to wake up as early as 4.30 a.m. and prepare for work for the next day. Does that make sense to us? 
So this boils down to the question, when are we going to solve power problem in Nigeria? A lot of Nigerians in diaspora that have lived in, 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 in abroad for 10, 20, 30 years, they are getting old. Now, the biggest problem to them is that they want to come back home. And they want to come back home, set up something that they can fall back to when they come back home. This same power is depriving them of coming back home to set up a business of their choice and come back home at their old age to enjoy their retirement life or to enjoy the rest of their life. They just can't come back. A lot of foreign investors that want to set up factories or, or manufacturing setups in Nigeria still can't come because of this power problem. Now, if you go to a place like Victoria Island in Lagos, where we have almost all the head offices of all the both local and multinational companies in Nigeria in, in located, almost all of them are running their offices with their own corporate-owned generators. Just, just go to Victoria Island in Lagos. Look at all the banks. Look at all the oil companies. Look at all the servicing companies that are there with their head offices. They are all running generators morning to night, January to December. We just can't give them power as a country. It's unfortunate. It's appalling. And, and, and up to now, we are not even heading in a direction to get that problem solved. That is the worst of all. Assuming we have a prospect, assuming we have a, a, a kind of projection that in the next one, two, three or four years, this will be solved. It will make sense. But right now, there's nothing on ground pointing to the direction of ending this power menace in the country. I, I can just go on and on and on and on and on and on. And, I'll, and it's, it's, I, I won't just stop. But guess what? I think you know as much as I know. It's just that it's paining me that as a country, we just can't solve this small problem called power. So as, as you listen and watch this video, just put a comment below. Just say your mind. This is my opinion. And this is why it's paining me. And it's paining me more than this. I can go on and on and I will not stop. But just put down your comment, share your views, and see if somebody in power will pick it up and then get dedicated, get committed to solve our power problem in Nigeria. Thank you for listening and watch the video below. Thank you so much.